what's up guys welcome back to the vlog sorry i'm not as active as i usually am it's six in the morning i know it's bright out here but it's really early and here i am working on the cars at six in the morning this is why i keep saying i need a shop because it's freaking like negative two degrees out here and i'm out here but it is what it is let's work on the cars today we're going to the purest toy drive so i'm super excited that of course we're going to take the 350z and i saw all of you guys' comments in the last vlog you guys want to see pov of the inside of the the 350 basically to see how the exhaust sounds i got you guys we're gonna do that you guys want to see some flybys i got you guys we're gonna do that but before we do any of that we're finally gonna get to install one of my favorite parts on the 350z and that is the status racing seats if you guys know me you guys know i like to custom make everything basically for my cars and me and status got together last time which by the way shout out to status if you guys need racing seats harnesses uh clothing steering wheels quick releases hit up status use coupon code apoly and get a percentage off but um last time me and status got together we made the custom one of one seats for the 240 which are right here we did this cool naruto theme seats with the sasuke curse mark and the eight trigram seal these are one of one no one else on the planet has these and that is the coolest thing about status is that you always get to make that is the coolest thing about status that you get to make your own seats for a really affordable price you get to custom make it all so you will have seats unique to yourself so for the 350z we did exactly that we made some custom seats and i finally get to show you guys this is going to be a little out of loop because i've had these seats for so long um so we're going to run it back because we actually installed the driver's seat at Zakut stick and we are going to install the passenger seat right now before the toy drive. All right, now that we're here with uh, Zakut stick and Society, I'm going to show you guys the new status seat. And basically, well, at least if you have a Z or a G, maybe, I'm not too sure how these Zakut stick um, T brackets work. Do these T brackets work with G's as well? With G's? Does these? Haha, <laughs> geez, you're, you're out of luck. Okay, so if you have a Z and you have the new um, status reclinable seats, these will work with you. <laughs> Let me just show you these seats, bro. They're crazy. Finally, we get to take this shitty seat out of here. So let's get to it. I'm excited. And this is the first time we anyone gets to see the status seat inside of the Z with these acoustic seat brackets. You can see how nice it actually sits. Um, I only have one bolt in. I need to go back and get the other bolts. But you see that the seat actually sits nice and low. My biggest thing is I've had this happen with the Z, with Buddy Club, and a couple of other C brackets. They sit a little higher, so when you put the seat in, you're like heads touching the ceiling. So if you're a taller person, you're like screwed. Either way, it makes it feel uncomfortable. In here, you sit nice and low to this Z, like, like your head's not up there. Like This is comfortable, you know? So um, Zakusek driver's seat C brackets work. They haven't created the passenger side seat bracket just yet. Now that I've revealed the status seat, we have the passenger seat over here. Um, and they are gonna make a custom bracket to be able to work with these reclinable status seats. So in a couple of weeks, you guys, if you order any reclinable seats from status, you'll be able to order uh, seat brackets for them from Zakutsek. But man, this looks so good in here. And these seats match perfectly the interior of the Z. This looks so good, tell me it doesn't. Sheesh! I'm so excited. Now the only thing we're missing in here is a half cage that um, Zakustek and Henry's gonna do. And then uh, the interior will be 100% complete. But what do you guys think? If you like the way it looks, give this video a big thumbs up. I'm excited. First look at how this planted seat bracket sits and it sits absolutely beautiful. The design is sick the way they did it. So as you can see, oh, as you can see, it sits perfectly flush down with the floor. So that should allow you to have basically the lowest 
possible seat that you can have hopefully it's the same as the path as a driver's side seat if you guys own 350s you know about this problem so much especially with um sliders the seat sits so high up that your head is basically smashing on the roof i have that problem with the 240 but hopefully we don't have that problem with the z excuse me sir how can i help you man oh we are having some issues with the passenger side seat bracket I was hoping everything would just be plug and play, but we're having issues with the alignment of the hold on the seat bracket. Uh, yeah, so the seat bracket to the alignment of the holes on the seat rail of the status seat. So I don't want to rush it because I want it to be installed 100% like correctly. And I also don't want to tell you guys, hey, go buy these seat brackets and they don't even fit. So um, yeah, let me hit the toy drive and then we'll see how everything goes. It goes with the installation a little bit later. But at least the driver's side is in and man, sad as these seats are so comfortable and the best thing about it is that it's actually reclinable. I'm not really good at POVs, but at least we can film from inside. A lot of you guys wanted to hear what the exhaust sounds like from the inside. I'm gonna give you just that. Hold on. Let traffic clear up a little bit and then uh, we'll downshift. on the freeway I'm pretty sure he doesn't even know it's me because I'm driving the Z and he's never seen the Z we've just been racing back and forth I'm trying to say hi to you and you don't he won't let me pull up next to him all right let's see if Will finally lets me get next to him I'm driving freaking 100 miles an hour just to say hi to you Will So we just showed up to the toy drive. Look at the Z looking all good. Look at Bree and her Z. Look, I got my toys here. Bree, did you bring your toys? I put them away already. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Look at her. She brought her puppy though. You all know I can't. Oh, I can never say no to a good puppy. I can never say no to a good puppy. But look at, this is what I told you guys in the last vlog. Bree and her 1J350Z. Like that just looks good in there. Do you guys see what I'm saying? Dude, but it'll work. It's a tight fit, but it looks good in there. Dang. Like, can you imagine that inside Zelina? Like, bro. Why don't you just buy this one and then you can drift like, it? Yeah, Bree's How trying to that? Bree's trying to have me crash the Z and not have it again for another two years. <laughs> yeah, no thank you, Bree, okay? <laughs> I'll take torque though. Well it's for sale, so. What so about what it. about the puppy? Torque, what are you doing? Can I have him? Huh? No. Um, actually, you can borrow him whenever you want, but you can't keep him. Tori, hit you! Do me Lorenzo in the... Oh! He's gonna air out on us! Sheesh! You already know the bad god had to come in a bad car. <laughs> Dude, I love Lorenzo. Sheesh! The boat. He just runs over Oscar. <laughs> All right, we finally finished cleaning the Z. And shout out to Upscale Detailing one more time. Dude, the two-step correction on the Z, look how nice the paint looks now. Before Upscale touched it, this paint job looked absolutely horrendous. And now it's clean. And honestly, with the ceramic coat, it's so easy to clean now. You guys know the fitment, look at this. Ignore the cracks, you guys know, airing it out. This Fly One Fender just wasn't it. And it cracked on both sides now. 
here's the other side so for anyone that ever is thinking about running fly one fenders just know that you basically can't run big boy wheels on them and I don't, I'm not talking shit I just want you to be transparent the quality is not that good with fly one but fit mingles front look at the rear sheesh a lot of you guys have been asking too what quarter panels or what over fenders I'm running in the rear. This is Crown Carbon Crafting. I'll leave their at right here. Check them out. Their body kits are really good and honestly the quality of them is really good as well. She's got the status seats as well. As you guys can see, this is what I'm talking about. Look at she has the planted seats. And as you can see, like this is the seat brackets, what I was talking about. Normal seat brackets sit a lot higher on these Z's and it kind of makes you sit a lot higher. I'm running, the seat brackets that I have are basically planted on the floor so I don't have that problem of it sitting super high the way other seat brackets run. Just a little FYI for some of you guys that basically want to know for your Z's. And obviously we have fresh kicks, you guys know. This dude's out of control with the big wheels. Look at that, sheesh. Got his Tomei down there. A lot of you guys wanted to see the comparison between Fresh Kicks, Tomei, and I believe his is turbo in comparison to my HKS dual exhaust. Um, so maybe if we have a little bit of time, we'll be able to show you guys the comparison and sounds between these two cars so you guys can see what basically it sounds like. I haven't seen Low Tech in forever, but we have Low Tech's car over here. Same front bumper, he's running the Fly One carbon fenders I don't know how he feels about them maybe the carbon fenders have a little bit better fitment than the fiberglass ones do he's running the fly one hood as well look at the wheels big Nissan brakes on their fitments pretty nice look at the interior of the car and he's running Brom I used to want Brahms for the longest and then status finally said here Paulie we got you we'll bless you with with some cool seats. But, I mean, if you guys are into Z's, you guys definitely know these guys. I don't know if he's running a true duel or not. George, quick question. Is this a true duel or? Yeah, true duel. Okay. Mortar done. There you, mortar done? Yeah, mortar done. Well, there you guys go. You guys have ever wondered what Low Tech, aka George, or George, aka Low Tech, <laughs> is running <laughs> true way. duel, aka mortar done? The ISR uh, long two headers and then more dime. Oh, sick! I've I've always wondered if maybe long two headers would sound good with the True Dual HKS. I don't know, but maybe we'll insert one of fresh um fresh one of low text clips in here just so you guys can see hear what that sounds like. So Will just gave me the helmet. We're gonna go drift Breeze car right now. This is gonna be insanity. I've never drifted a 1J350 until right now. Yeah. Thank you, Bree. Bree's <laughs> sell Bree selling your car in the <laughs> middle of a toy drive. Wait, for sale. It Why are you sale, selling your car sure. in the middle of a toy drive, Bree? Uh, I don't know. Look wait, it. wait, I thought you're not allowed to have for sale right. signs on the <laughs> show, huh? Okay. That's what they said. Bree <laughs> drives one muscle car in Wakanda Forever, yeah, part two, Wakanda and forever. she wants to yeah, sell her JDM forever. car. <laughs> Bree! Did you tell anybody? Alright, we're about to check out Kaylin's new car. I got a cool car pass Did you? today, yeah. I'm, I'm nervous. They were like, are you general parking? <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. And they were like, nice car. Go. And I was like, sick. Dude, I'm honestly nervous. I don't know what she has. I really have no idea. I really so. haven't told like anything. And you're hyping it up, so I'm really like yeah, that's whatever cool. you I don't get. Have anything whatever else. you get, like it, I'm sure it's super cool. I, I have full faith in you. Good. This is good. All right, let's just, see. Just build it up. <laughs> I had like five people like flocks. Imagine it's a here. Honda Civic. <laughs> like yo 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 yo. Look at this. Look at this. My Ultima. I was gonna say this is it. We're getting close. We're getting close. <laughs> Did you? Dude, there's no way. It is mine. Really? It's Holy dude. It's red interior. I'm this like, is I'm sick. This is my favorite thing ever. Yo. Okay, Kaylin blew us out of the water. I was really expecting like a Honda Civic, something yeah. crazy. <laughs> but this nice. is sick, dude. Oh, congratulations. Thank Heck you. yeah, dude. Yeah, winner will, this little spin, we'll leave her at right here so you guys can keep along with her build. This thing looks so sick though. I'm so excited. It's oh all my God. Fiber. In one of these, I'm gonna take the keys off so I don't want to scratch anything. This is good. Yeah. 
Oh my god. How does it feel? Dude, I feel like I'm in like Europe. Like this is this is sick, dude. I'm so <laughs> excited for you. Dude. Thank you. Show you guys a point of view of how it looks in here. Dude, this is so sick. And like she was saying, look at the carbon fiber in here. These it's everywhere. These seats are like little bucket seats as well. Dude, this is so sick. And honestly, I'm really digging the way this cockpit like is it? oh my god dude i'm so excited for you <laughs> i'm so excited for you i can't wait to see what you do with this uh okay automatic oh fuck i'm used to sick dude i just wanted to see the cluster honestly this looks sick look at oh my god i really 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 like this digital cluster Ooh, it sounds it sounds good too! It does! Yo, this is so sick! Oh my god! I'm so excited for Kaylin! Oh Obviously, anytime you come anywhere, there's a bunch of extreme sports cars everywhere. And look at this. We got all the Liberty Walk cars. But I'm gonna head over and migrate to this because if you guys know me, you guys know the Lamborghini is literally my dream car. I know a lot of people like I have the R34 JDM dream car, but this is literally like, I feel like this is more of a dream car because it's definitely way more expensive than what an R34 like Skyline would be. I don't know if I would want a GTR R34 just because actually, I don't know. I feel like if I got a GTR, I wouldn't want to drive it, but look at this. This is so beautiful. The wrap is cool on the Liberty Walk kit. And it's super cool because like most Japanese like wide body kits have this fender flare right here and I love the way that fender flare looks. It looks just looks so good. Obviously the rear look at this. Super wide and super sick. And I love these wings. It kind of makes it look like I don't even know what to explain what it looks like, but it looks just so sick. And then right in front of that you have Ryan Literal's RB25 s15 drift car this thing is so sick it was such a pleasure to see this car drifting during the fd year Dude, this thing's sick all right so i was just talking about how i was gonna leave and then we have gary pull up in his r34 so how do i leave now i can't leave look at how sick this is first time i actually get to see this car in person a boy can only dream I need an R34. You guys know, I talk about it all the time. Top dream JDM car, R34. I have the S13 already, so this is next on my list. This thing looks super sick. I believe Gary is drifting this, so I, I don't know what exactly the build plans are for this car, but I just know it looks sick. I know you guys wanted to see a drive-by, how the exhaust and the Z sounds. Thank you to my good boy, Ryan. We're about to knock this out right now. Let's get it. You guys heard it right there. I hope you guys like the way those flybys sounded. We got some POVs inside shots as well. Look at Zelina looking in the back, nice and pretty, but there's no way we could end the vlog on no action. Ryan and his crazy. <laughs> We're gonna finish today's vlog on installing the passenger seat correctly. So that's what we're gonna get on right now. We're gonna throw the 350 inside of here. We're gonna take this seat bracket back out and uh, try and install everything correctly. And hopefully we have no problems or issues with that. So this is the problem we're having with the seat bracket right now. Either we'll have two holes line up or basically three holes. We'll basically have three holes line up 
and then the fourth one won't line up if we run it on this middle one if we try and run it we will then have three holes line up over here but this last hole won't line up so this C bracket works but kind of doesn't work and I, I I'm so like I'm I'm baffled like I don't understand if the seat rails aren't lined up correctly or this bracket isn't like straight I just I don't get it because they sh they should line up theoretically speaking correctly oh so we got three of the four in I guess we're just gonna have to bob the builder this hoe and uh, we're gonna just make this last hole right here hopefully we do it correctly and the seat rail will go in I guess this is kind of what sucks when you get like the first of like a certain kind of style seat to go into your car like no one really knows what's going on um, so yeah so I guess uh we're doing it totally I'm pretty accurate when it comes to holes all right well hole complete let's put this bad boy back in there cameras at two percent and there you guys go seat bracket is all officially in now we have to put it into the 350 and see if it fits sick we officially got the seat in we didn't run into any problems thank god um, as you guys can see that's how the seat bracket sits which is still gonna be the lowest possible option just because of this weird hump there is right here um, and it doesn't bang the roof of the Z like I was hoping it wouldn't um, but yeah, there we go. I mean, I guess you guys can see you have to do a little simple modification if you run the status seats reclinables with the planted seat brackets. With the society brackets, they fit perfect, but um, the passenger side seat bracket doesn't fit with the society bracket. Um, and yeah, both are in. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Now that the status seats are in, we're waiting for Zakutstek to make the half cage inside of here. This, I don't want a full cage in here. I just feel like this isn't a freaking... Uh, this is never gonna hit the track so a half cage will look nice in here um, and then after the half cage we're sending this back out to Icebox Customs and Lorenzo he's basically gonna retouch everything back here we're gonna do a bigger air tank we're gonna do a second compressor and then we're gonna make the floorboard and everything nice and pretty back here and then the Z will basically be ready and good to go but even the back dude I don't know if I showed you guys the back of the seats are car like a carbon fiber design so it looks super sick. I love these seats. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you guys are interested in status seats, and make sure you guys use coupon code APOLY or discount code APOLY at the end of your purchase and you get a discount. We also have the harnesses that are gonna go inside of these seats. So everything's good to go. I hope you guys are having a good holidays. I wish you guys nothing but positivity and good energy. Till next time, peace.